The United Kingdom is a great country, but there is no doubt we face a profound economic challenge. Rishi Sunak is Britain's third Conservative Prime Minister in four months. He predicted a lot of the damage caused by Truss's government, and that gave him credibility. And now that he's in charge, we're going to see how he's going to clean up the economic mess ahead of him. He takes the reins against a recessionary backdrop, with inflation at the highest level in 40 years, which makes the Bank of England keep rising interest rates. The thing about Rishi Sunak is that he already has fiscal credibility. He has raised taxes to finance his spending plans in the past, and that means that he's got some discretion now when it comes to markets. The post-trust tax burden is at the highest level since World War II, and the Treasury has to fill a 25 billion hole in public finances. This is all coming at a cost of living crisis, with prices surging a lot more than wages, causing a wave of protests across public services. Then there's the looming energy crisis, with government support running out in April. If by then the government doesn't think of a new package or energy prices don't decline, household bills could double. How does the next Prime Minister balance the books? So we're expecting him to do the bare minimum required, and that may mean that he erodes some of the fiscal headroom that he had at the time of the March budget. So he will, hopefully that will limit the requirement for painful austerity in years to come.